Enjoy our <laughs> So good. Todd, my boss, he's dead. Oh. He wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't remember, but I, I see them. I knew it. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. Don't worry about it. They're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He was such a good guy. Boss. You got mail. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Do you see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? This one? Do you know about ants? Ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. They come out of the mouths of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just a rumor. Mr. Todd has died. What? It's three days until the time of freedom. You got Mr. Morgan and Mr. Todd don't get along well. But it was Mr. Todd who stopped Mr. Morgan from committing suicide. He was arrested for assaulting Mr. Morgan. He was demoted as a result. But what the two of them don't know, the two of them don't know that Mr. Daniel had him cleared of the charges. You got mail. Check this out somewhere. <laughs> nah. No. Nah. No. All right. You're not looking so good. And now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even younger than I am. <sighs> Todd Bozeman, age 45. Todd? <sighs> Todd? The Todd that came here? I knew I hadn't seen him these days. That's all the updates we have on this story currently. After a commercial break, we'll bring you the weather. As always, if we have anything new to report. Can I tell you the rest of yesterday's story? Oh, sure. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth.
that's what everyone else says. But it, have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. You're awful kind to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're going to get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. Huh. Um, is that what you really want? <sighs> this isn't about what we want or don't want. You got mail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her. Let's go. say there's no possibility and when it comes to choosing a partner the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it I hear they even distinguish by smell too I wonder I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man but Eric just said I have old man smell like I care yeah anyway as I was going to say the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. Excuse me. You got mail. day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. for you did you know Todd he was a regular here yeah the the department manager right 
Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious, shriveled up way that all those other men have died. Died? This morning? He had a potty mouth. He was a playboy. But he was good at looking after people. He was a fine man. Yeah. Do you believe in the afterlife? Yeah. If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. And kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. Hey, how's Toby doing at work? He's fine. I can trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. You should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica. You're so good to the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. Anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Vincent, we're going home now. Boy, I'll go with you. Are you all going home? You guys be careful, okay? It's not just you anymore, Vincent. Everyone seems really tired lately. I'm worried. You don't have to worry. I'm not tired at all. What, are you worried about those rumors? You're taking drunk talk way too seriously. Well, I hope it's nothing. You don't have to hope. It's nothing. We'll see y'all later. tonight's location. This clock has been in use since ancient times. From this point on, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them, and will damage nearby blocks. Where am I this time? There's still more? Edge. 
the sixth floor. You're really good. You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. If you begin to doubt your lover, would you reaffirm your trust in them or speak to them directly? <laughs> that. Hmm. Do you remember what I told you before? That there is someone who put you in be. That's why even the smallest of fears <laughs> remember that. of bomb blocks with different blast radii. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which is which. I'm not gonna die. Commencing area two. Are you ready?
potential. Good. in the real world anymore. Are you serious? This is the ninth question. Do you think it's okay to lie if there's absolutely no chance that they'll find... <laughs> hmm. So that's the one you chose. <laughs> I see. Oh, yes. You're in the middle of the clock tower stage. From the next section on... Your trial, but you're running out of time. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. It's a race against time on this long. Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your footing. Just let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. All right, I got it. Oh! Yes. All right. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> <laughs>
How's this? Climbing skills are remarkable! I don't care what little speech you have. Hurry up! This is the tenth question. What do you do when you receive a phone call from someone you don't like? <laughs> that one, huh? Very well. I've noted it. Hurry up before I start getting nervous. <laughs> I expect that you will be attacked by... Something. This is the final area. Observe the traps created by the enemy, and stay calm. All right. Let's just climb this thing and get it over with. There is no way! Child with Chainsaw has a pain. It's the killer. Do not die.
time to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> 
are you doing here anyway? I, I mean, they, the, the ants, what, what are they doing here? Stupid ants. They're after this. What is it? Cake? Well, who did you get this from? How did ants get here so damn quick? That's the cake Catherine brought me a while ago. Oh, I've got a, a real sweet tooth is all. <laughs> uh, wait, really? So do I. <laughs> So, uh, when did you get here? Oh, what, like you forgot? You said that you were feeling better, so I hurried right over. Huh? When did I tell you that? I guess my memory's a little fuzzy. Aw, you always say that. <laughs> Relax, you worry too much. Trust me, you are just fine, baby. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> don't have time today. Ah! No! What, what is it this time? It's, it's that horror movie I told you about. This is the last week they're gonna be showing it in theaters, <clears throat> remember? What, what movie? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss it. Yeah, okay, okay. Can we wait till tomorrow? I've kind of got some stuff to take care of today. <laughs> I am totally lost here. Ugh. 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 Look, I've got to ask you something. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Don't you have anything to tell me? Vincent, what in the world are you talking about? All right. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Wait. Listen What's to going me. on? I, uh... I heard something the other day. What did you hear? Something from an acquaintance of yours. What? Who? Uh, well, do you know a guy named Steve? Steve? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know anyone named Steve. Exact. Wait, what? Y you don't? No. No? Not even one? Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well... <laughs> How could you not? I mean, Steve's a pretty common name, right? Wait! I did meet a Steve yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. I think. Son? How old is he? Um, two months, maybe? She'd just come back from the hospital. No... No, not him. Don't you know any other Steves? Huh? Well, I'm sure I do if I check. You, you mean you have to check and see if you know anybody named Steve? I guess so. Look, what is this all about? <laughs> well... Speak up and tell me. Who's Steve? Some friend of yours? What are you getting at? Well, you know, if you don't know, then let's just drop it. But you sure you don't know him, no Steve? Why do you keep asking me that? I told you, I don't know. Okay, sorry, sorry, <laughs> never mind. Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> The wrong girl again? I, mean, I can't think of anyone else. I'm glad to hear Catherine's not cheating, but this is not good. Maybe I should just tell her. No, then she'll think I'm taking some random guy's word over hers. Shit, what can I say to make her believe me? Uh, well, it, it, it's a good thing you don't know him. 
There's this asshole at my work who said he might know you. So, uh... Huh? Are you okay? You've been acting weird lately. You're pale, you say things that don't make any sense. Yeah, well, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense lately. Like the future and everything. I don't get it. Uh, what do you mean? You don't get it? Uh, well... What part of our future don't you get? That's not what I meant. I, I mean, I'm, I'm worried about work. It's a new job and all, and I'm having problems with the clients, so I'm tired. <laughs> I've been getting strange texts lately. Strange how? I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. <laughs> Wait, what do they say? What are the words? You know what? It's not important. Just forget it. Okay, but... Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? <laughs> Shit, I'm making her worry. She says she's getting weird texts. I have to reassure her somehow. Come on, I'm not keeping anything from you. Well, you've got to go back to work, right? I do too. Um, I should go. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll call you. Which girl? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I asked around, and nobody knows who you are. You... you told her? <laughs> well, yeah, of course I did. I mean, that's the quickest way to split up, right? Y yeah but, but what do you mean, nobody knows me? Well, that's exactly why I called. Look, wh why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like, what does she look like? Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. What? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. What? Don't you try to fool me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Uh, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. It's a different person. I don't blame you for all this, but please, just leave me alone. What's going on? How should I know? But she... she's all I have now. <laughs> I'm already divorcing my wife. She came into my life suddenly, and then I just... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's gonna come for me, and I... Look, I'm the one going crazy here! <laughs> I won't call you again. So leave me alone, okay? Wait, 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 no, don't hang up. I still have... What the hell was his problem? The wrong girl? Yeah, the Catherine he was talking about was someone else entirely. Jeez, but seriously? Well, lucky for you, this was just some dumbass's mistake. The world's full of troublemakers. But it, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. No, no, I mean, there's no way. He has to be mistaken. Uh, you guys better be careful, too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Uh, that again? They say all the men who died were cheaters. So they were cursed. 
Let's just get your ass back to work. Vincent isn't cheating anymore, so there's nothing to worry about. The curse, huh? Oh, well, that's great. I've got no choice but to accept it. Well, look, when you feel guilty, sometimes you want to be punished, you know what I mean? But this curse stuff is just crazy. It's not rational. Grow up, man. And besides, there are plenty of other ways to die in your sleep. Plus... Plus? Well, you know, I've sort of been having funny dreams, too. Dreams? Well, to be honest, I've been having odd dreams recently myself. And like you were saying, I don't remember exactly what they're about, but... Yeah... It's some hard shit. Hey, are you serious? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all just dreams. Yeah, but are you sure it's fine? Of course it's fine. Wait a second. Come to think of it, he, he said something. I, I'm going crazy. It's going to come for me and I... What's going to come for him? Am I missing something important here? Anyway, this is about you, Vincent. What are you gonna do? Huh? Oh, my nightmares were all caused by this trouble. But they forced me to realize something. Which is? I took everything for granted. Up until now. I feel like now... I remember what I've always held dearest to me. Sounds selfish to me. <laughs> really? I know, but I can't betray the person who's been with me all this time. Despite who I am, I can't lose her now. Yeah, that's the spirit, Chief. Then maybe you shouldn't be here drinking right now. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got something left to do. I need to change my focus. I see. Hey, beer me. Sure, let me get that for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. Your treat. Yeah, right. like to speak you can't accept the dishonesty of politicians can you you can't accept the rising cost of goods can you this one mr. Justin would say the same thing did you know that mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? You see... Mr. Archie died this morning. Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? It's two days until the time of freedom. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Our love is over. for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Seriously? Yeah, but I hear it happens all the time. She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who is the kindest and the dull. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. You got me. Nah, 
people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult and very frightening. You got mail. past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh... Cheer up. <sighs> Don't patronize me. Sorry about this afternoon. I was rambling. Hey, are you really okay? Is something wrong? Don't worry about protecting my feelings. I I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking about me. If something's happening, tell me. We're not strangers anymore. I'm carrying our child. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Then I forgive you. Seriously, I'm sorry. Looks like I was the only one hiding something. <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the Pousse Café. Normally, cocktails are stirred thoroughly. But this is a cocktail you cannot mix. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Pousse Café's appeal. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? What would you like now? Sake. Coming right up. Are you the type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, why can't I remember them? 
every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the ponderings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. But still, Steve's voice, I've heard it somewhere before. You got mail. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. A grisly story. <sighs> Archie Wallace, age 28. Archie? <sighs> oh my, Archie? These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Morgan Cortez, age 42. Morgan? <sighs> Did she just say Morgan Cortez? That's the officer who used to come here. Ken Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information... I'll be right back. Tony looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. That was a rough nightmare for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you? I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. Oh, liquor's really hitting me today. <laughs> if you check the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Mmm. That man's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. Mmm. Stupid as I am, I just have to give up and move on. Whew. I know this is sudden. But here is some trivia about Japanese sake, now that you've emptied your sake cup. Do you know the true meaning behind nama ippon, a type of Japanese sake? There are conditions a sake brewer must follow to label their sake nama ippon. One, it must only be made with rice and malted rice. Two, no water is added after squeezing. Three, no sake from other batches may be mixed into the brew. This means that the drink is pure rice sake. Use this knowledge the next time you buy sake. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. Chief really looks tired today. Worried. Uh, shoot. It's this time already? When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. Yeah, I'm leaving too. Are you going home already? I just want to organize my thoughts. Okay. Well, be careful. Well, see ya. Corridor 
is our locale tonight. It is a holy passage to the cathedral. To the cathedral starts here. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. Now what? I can't wait to see what they're cooking up now. I got it. Edge. 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 I remember, dear. Edge. Right. Well then, we'll begin. This is the eleventh question. Which is easier on you? To be loved or to love? <laughs> That's your selection, I see. Hey, isn't this the seventh floor? If I get past this part, isn't the goal right there? Correct. This level leads directly to the cathedral. The eighth floor. The cathedral is where you... All right. I'll escape from this place as... <laughs> I'll take you... Catherine.
the ball. Try. Fuck. I need to be careful. Commencing area two. Are you ready? Pause. Enjoy our... Following challenge stages will put your true abilities to the test. Try bringing down the house if you're facing a wall of holes. Fuck! I need to be careful! Commencing area two. Are you ready? All right, I got it! Edge! Edge! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right, I got it. All right, I got it. surprised anymore. Any sheep who made it this far wouldn't die so easily now. This is the twelfth question. If you met someone with every quality you looked for in a mate and later learned she was a robot, could you still marry her? <laughs> well, which one? That's your choice. I... All right. to go. I don't have a choice. Commencing Area 3. Are you ready? Pause.
Enjoy a... Someone who was already married? <laughs> well, which one? Hmm. So, all right, let me say this, so you'll understand. If you're able to pass the next trial, the cathedral awaits you. I must say, you honestly have a chance of making it. I've been set on that since the beginning. More than that, do you remember what I told you before? The path of freedom will be open to those who reach the holy pinnacle. If you make it, what kind of freedom would you want? What do you mean? It's all so clear to me. I finally know what's truly important. I was afraid because a lot was going on. But now I want the freedom to gain what I know matters. That's why I have to get out of here. <laughs> I see. Let's hurry then. There's still more levels on this floor. Trial stages continue on. Some locations will allow you to change your path. Choose the one that makes for an easier climb. Looks like I still have a ways to go. I don't have a choice. Commencing Area 3. Are you ready?
got it. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Edge.
time to be dead.
I got it. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Edge. 
edge. level won't be overcome just through I see something special in you so somebody got out of here before I'm gonna do even better than he did there's more than one person depending on me now this is the 13th question if you were suddenly naked in public where would you hide <laughs> well, which one going. You've come more than halfway up this level. After two more trials, it will end. You will then be at the cathedral. It doesn't matter where I am anymore. I'm gonna keep climbing until I've reached the goal. I'm gonna take care of everything tomorrow. After that, I'll finally be able to tell her how I feel. I'm gonna finish climbing this thing tomorrow and move on with my life. This is the final challenge, a 10-story wall. Use your mind to create a path to the entrance for the next area. I'm not gonna die. Commencing area four. Are you ready? Well, I'm almost there. Got it. All right, I got it. All 
right, I got it. I got it. Got it. Edge. 
Alright, I got it. I made I it! go to some young bastard. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Are you the only one here? Where are the others? They're not all dead, are they? Shut up. Don't talk to me. Sorry. Everyone, I hope you're all right. Oh, man. Welcome, little lamb. I see you've survived. Oh, you're doing amazingly. The next trial will be the last one on this floor. But there's so much shit already. Nothing is gonna scare me off now. This is the 14th question. If you were to be reincarnated, would you want to be a human? <laughs> well, which one? This one? I'm done asking questions. Now, you're almost there. I'll say goodbye to you. Only a very small number of sheep have ever reached the cathedral. In this century, you're the first. Ugh. I hear there are more holy stairs with red carpet at the top of the cathedral. Get there, but don't let go of what's important to you. If you can, then you'll be free. It's important to me. I don't know. But I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. In any case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Now hurry up and take me up there. Well, I'll lead you to the next trial. Wait for me, Catherine. This is the final area for tonight. The glowing black hole blocks suck in anything placed on top of them. Avoid stepping on them. Once you pass this area, you'll reach your final destination, the cathedral. Vincent Brooks. How do you feel? Who's there? Now's not the time. 
time to be dead. The Shadow of Vincent has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. It's too late. I can't die here. All that matters is yourself, right? Just disappear. Edge. Edge. 
There's no turning back. Edge. Edge. You're scared of being right, chained down, Edge. right? Edge. name um, well I'm Steve Doe home I'm a dentist I see that voice you're Vincent aren't you what a twist of fate it looks like I'm cursed you figured something out I've been cursed by cat how do you get a curse from that don't you get it? You're cursed too. It's revenge for betrayal. Revenge? And the Catherine you're talking about is... twists did not confound you. Oh. 
<sighs> Man, I need some sleep. Nightmares just keep coming. Mm -hmm. I had a dream where I felt dead. I struggled and struggled, like I was being chased by something crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, you listening? Hey, Orlando. Man, we've had these crazy dreams every night. So how come we can't remember them clearly? Huh? Now that you mention it... I just... I can't shake this feeling. I, uh, I can't remember. The series of mysterious male deaths continues with another gruesome discovery this morning. Local dentist Steve Delome, age 42, was found dead at his home. His wife, who he'd been feuding with, found him dead in his sleep this morning. Like the other victims, his body was in an atypically weakened state, inconsistent with known causes of sudden death. Can't be. Hey, uh, you all right, man? Whoa. That dead guy on the nose just now, I know that guy. He lived in my neighborhood. The police came this morning? Oh, God, it was so loud. That sounds like a bad way to start the morning. That bastard was cheating on his wife with a younger woman. The entire neighborhood knew because he bragged about it to everyone. What a creep. You gotta feel bad for the kids in that situation. Oh, they didn't have any kids. But still, what a horrible man. Hey, what is it? We met last night. In my dream. Huh? Met who? I remember now. It was him. He died in my dream. Him? The guy in the news? <laughs> that's crazy talk, man. What did he say? Wait, that's right. It's, it's starting to come back to me now. He said it was a curse. Because he betrayed someone. Hey, cut that out. You're trying to tell me he was killed in his dreams or something? You are fucking crazy. Well, maybe not. Think about it. The rumor? Maybe it's true. The dreams we've been having every night. Did you honestly just say that? How does this tie in with betrayal? I'm the one that got betrayed. Yeah. Sorry. Enough bullshit. We just can't think straight because we're too damn tired. We wake up all bleary-eyed and the world's full of rumors. Then we can't sleep because all this crazy shit's stuck in our heads. Y you're probably right. Exactly. I didn't betray anyone. I was the one who was betrayed. So why is... Fuck. I didn't mean to bring that up. I was... I was just thinking. Eh, uh, it's all stupid. Yeah. <sighs> Man. What about you? You dumped the girl you're cheating with? Actually... I was gonna go talk to her after this. <laughs> It'll be a horrible date. But I've made up my mind. I'm ending it. I see. When this is all done, I'm gonna propose to her. To the one I know I love. Of course, I haven't bought a ring yet. <laughs> the ring can come anytime. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Vincent over there. You just leave him alone. Don't get messed up and all that. Oh, hey, there's something I wanted to tell you. Check this out. Yesterday, I finally became a man. Got rid of my V card. Boom. Uh, wait, back up. With who? Take a wild guess. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Erica. Yep, bingo. Sorry, I got to her first, man. <sighs> Seriously. Yeah, but there was something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. It's probably just because it was my first time. Maybe, you know, just my imagination, but... So what happened to Johnny? You come here by yourself? <laughs> yeah, he's not coming today. He, uh, looked pretty bad earlier. <sighs> I see. Kind of weird everyone's tired all the time, huh? Vincent's infected us, damn it. Uh, so you see, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> so then, there's someone else, isn't there? 
I've been meaning to tell you all this time, but I couldn't. I had a lot of things on my mind, and then you came along. I guess I was trying to escape reality. Do you like her more than me? Look, I'm sorry. She's someone I really need to hold dear. So. Hold dear? Wait, so does that mean you're already dating her? I'm sorry. You don't mind. As long as I'm your number one, you can have fun with her. We can just go on like we've been doing. <laughs> well, you might not mind, but I do. Why? You want to know why. To be totally honest, she's pregnant with my child. <gasps> so, I've decided to marry her. Y you're joking, right? I I'm fine with that. I just want to be your girl. This is so... No way. I, I, I couldn't live like that. I, I can't see you anymore. You can't see me. But... No. <sighs> Please don't. <laughs> Who wouldn't cry in a situation like this? This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry, but there's only room in my heart for Catherine. Look, it was a mistake, all right? <laughs> mistake? I'm not good looking. I, I don't have any money. So no matter how you spend it, I'm no good for you. You're still young, so you probably just went with the flow. So... It wasn't like that! Look, I know I'm being a real jerk, but we need to end this. I'll do anything else you ask of me. <laughs> anything else? What else is there? I'm going to die. Please don't say stuff like that. Just... Catherine, wait! Hey, Catherine, you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? Take it back. I... I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll do anything. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh, are you really uh, pissing me off? <laughs> you don't get it. I could do... Anything you want me to. I'm protecting you. Why are you trying to leave me? Ugh. Are you an idiot? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. My spleen. <laughs> Don't you see you're making a huge mistake? You really, really should not leave me. Even still, I... Stop! No, no, no weapons! Dude, what's up with that? That was Vincent's voice, right? Oh man, I hope he's okay. But that just means I want to be even less involved. there, buddy. We're uh, heading home now. What's the story? You staying here? I don't want to move. Oh, hi, Erica. Vincent, why don't you go home? You look terrible. I deserve it. 
Huh? I lied to her. I hurt her too. <sighs> You're just gonna have to swear never to do this again. It's not the right thing to do, but just pretend this was a bad dream. You don't have to try and cheer me up. I need to apologize to Catherine someday. This isn't something I can keep quiet about. Look, just don't stress yourself. Just go home early today and get some sleep, okay? Yeah, I'll go after a couple of drinks. Tonight, I think I might actually be able to get some sleep. <laughs> Toby. Uh, huh? Uh, yeah, coming. real I know this is sudden but here's some trivia for you as you seem to have finished your glass liquor is usually consumed for the purposes of getting drunk but some cocktails exist for the opposite reason one such cocktail is the prairie oyster made to fix hangovers the recipe is Worcestershire sauce tomato juice, vinegar, pepper, and a raw egg. It's meant to be swallowed in a single gulp so that the yolk remains unbroken. Who thought this up in the first place? And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. Take your order. Sake. Mm. To keep you with it may be your fault but what's tough is tough i'll treat you to a drink hope you rest easy tonight <laughs> would you like to speak to lindsay would you like to speak to martha <laughs> i'll tell you a wonderful story over 70,000 people die of unknown causes every year in this country only 5% of those deaths become clear after an autopsy. Huh? Okay? These current deaths are part of the remaining 95%. There are probably more men who are dying in that way than we are being told. Mr. Justin died this morning. Mr. Daniel died this morning. What? I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Morgan blamed himself. Mr. Todd blamed himself. Mr. Archie blamed himself. Mr. Daniel blamed himself. Miss Anna blamed herself. Mr. Justin blamed himself. But is there any human without sin? Sit on the edge seat. I can't believe he's dead now. 
Daniel Kirsch, age 32. Daniel? <gasps> Daniel? Daniel, who used to come here? Oh, no. I can't believe this. That concludes our coverage for now. Now, on to the local weather report. We're in for some rain starting tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you've got your umbrella. After the commercial break, we'll... Are you all right? You look quite tired. Brought this shit upon myself. It's okay. I settled things. Wine, women, and dice. Those are the three woes. To reel off a recitation from a certain someone. Well, liquor is the closest I've got to any of those. So, drink up. Yeah, thanks. You got me. is a difficult thing. How long in woman lasts the fire of love if I or touch do not be lighted often? To take the thoughts from a certain someone. Who the hell is that certain someone? This time it would be Dante, I believe. Anyway, even if it looks like it's burning hot now, the fire in the heart of a woman may just flicker out over time. Look, It'll be all right. I just can't think straight today. Uh, oh, it's late. I don't feel well. I guess I should go home. A cat has nine lives, and the woman has a life of nine cats. Or so the saying goes. Women must be strong. I don't know. Today's just... You know Feather, the wrestlette? She's on a losing streak because of the injury she took in a previous match. Hmm. Really? I didn't think you followed that sport. I don't really. But you haven't been making any bets recently. That's because the only thing other people are betting on is women's wrestling. I don't really enjoy seeing women beating on each other like that. Oh, is that why? So I was worried about you for nothing. Well, it's not like I have any money either. Watching women's pro wrestling? It's hard to stop. Powerful women are so cool. I wonder if I could get in. Uh, that's impossible. Oh, I think I'm pretty strong. Yeah, but they wouldn't let you join in the first place. You got mail. but I have a feeling I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Yeah, I'm sure. Sorry for causing a lot of trouble. You apologize to the boss for me. <laughs> See ya. Feel rested. I haven't felt like this in a while. Wait, I didn't have any nightmares. Does that mean I'm saved? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody here home? The hell? Does anyone here want to save big money on their internet access? Yeah, right. Phew. Man, it's been a 
been so long. Again. Duh, give it up already. Vincent, are you in there? Yeah, I was asleep. Oh, sorry, but you weren't answering your phone. Um, we need to talk, okay? We do? Okay. Come on in. <laughs> Hello? Uh, huh? Who's that? Uh, what, what, what are you doing here? Oh, God, this can't be happening. So you need to have a chat with Vincent, right? Come in, make yourself at home. <laughs> How about a cup of coffee? We are going inside, and you're going to tell me exactly what's going on here. So, if I'm not mistaken, it would appear you have another woman in your life, yes? No, no, no. It, it, she's just... I... If you're going to make excuses, can you at least look me in the eye? <sighs> Let me get this straight, then. You got into this even though you knew I was pregnant. With your child. Shit. I gotta fix this fuck up right now. No, 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 no. That, that isn't it. So ah! what is it then? I thought you were acting a little weird recently, but this? It, it's not what you think. So much is going wrong. You gotta believe me here, okay? Here you go. And two sugars for you. Just the way you like it, Vincent. <laughs> Hey, you... So what do you think? Maybe now would be a good time to break it to her, Vince. She's extra baggage in your life, right? <gasps> uh, I, I never said that. What are you saying? And I don't want to hear any more of your bullshit. Vincent, honey, you're not really going to try and play dumb now, are you? After all you've done to my body, night after night? Uh, pig. If you work hard enough to get something, you'll get it. Don't you think that's true? Well, he worked me hard, and now he's got me. Simple as that. Plus, I'm sure you have no idea of this even, but this one's a wild man in the sack. <laughs> I don't think you can satisfy him anymore. What? <sighs> what are you, damn sick in the head or something? Listen, honey. Vincent here only needs one thing in this world, all right? And it's sitting right next to him. Now take a hint and get out of here. Why the hell should I? You're the one who should be leaving, bitch! Careful, you keep making faces like that and you'll start getting wrinkles, you old granny. Why, you! You little whore! Damn it, Vincent! God, what can I say to fix this? <clears throat> um, so, uh... uh <laughs> Can you ever forgive me? You want me to forgive you? How can I? W wait a second. I can explain. I will never forgive you! Hey, hey, stop it! Oh! Will ya? Look, just listen to me. I've already called it off with her. She just snuck in here, okay? Please, you gotta believe me! It's because of you that Vincent's so confused right now! If you just go away, he could finally be free! Uh, are you crazy? Uh, 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 Do 
Don't you run away from me! Catherine! No, 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 no. Is this really happening? Catherine? Look at me. Calm down. Calm down! Just calm down. Everything is gonna be fine. Listen, you go home right now. Leave the rest to me. Just do it! But I... Come on! What is going on? What is this? What the hell is this? I won't let you get away. That voice. It's her. What is this, Vincent? We... we have to run. Catherine, follow me! <laughs> Welcome to the Cathedral. This final stage requires you and your lover to reach the final goal together. Call your companion to guide her and escape this challenge. I 
got it. Is she really dear to you?
time to be dead. Has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. All right, I got it. We made it. Catherine, we're gonna be all right. We can make it back through here. Make it back? Back to where we were. Let's go together. I'm sorry, I can't think of the future after all this. Catherine, calm down. You've got a child to think about too. I'll fix everything. It'll all be okay. What? You mean you and me? You still thought about us then? Of course I did. But I can't believe you anymore. I didn't want to cheat on you. I was just confused about our future, I guess. I snapped. I'm sorry. I know I did something I can't undo. I won't make excuses, but I realized something. How dear you are to me. I... I understand that now. Vincent. Please, Catherine, come with me now. I'm begging you. But I can't. I can't do it anymore, Vincent. You should just go. Catherine! You just gotta believe in me. Please, Catherine, I can't lose you. Not like this. Vincent, do you? Congratulations! That was a splendid climb. The cathedral was not your final resting place. Right? What? What's going on? Y you came to visit me in this room. 
And she just... That's right! Where is she? Where is Catherine? Catherine? No, not you! Huh? Catherine! Hey! Hey, Catherine! What the hell? What is going on? Huh. So that's what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? You didn't see her? Nope. She doesn't seem to be here today. Look, we have to talk. Huh? You've been cheating on me, haven't you? Do you admit it? So, well, well, yeah, I, I admit it, but, but everything's good now. After all, I... Just stop babbling for a second. You haven't made a bit of sense this entire time. <sighs> You're such a disappointment. <laughs> Hold on. You really don't remember anything? Are you still dreaming? You didn't answer your phone, so I came by. You were writhing around in your sleep. <laughs> by myself? Yeah. So then I woke you up just now. No oh, way. So then, that was all a dream. A dream. Oh. Hey, look. Oh, hey. Thank God you're safe. A lot of things have happened, but, but I get it now. I promise to treat you right. Huh? Well, oh, the baby. <laughs> I mean, I promised to treat the two of you right. <laughs> uh, about that. Yeah, I finally understand now. I realize just how much you mean to my life. So, what I'm trying to say is... Like I said, about that. Uh, what? Listen. It turns out I wasn't pregnant. It was all a mistake. A mistake? Yes. I, I mean, are you sure? So let's break up. Break up? Hold on. I dumped Catherine, and I was ready to get married. What more could I possibly do? What? Break up? Okay, no, just, just wait a second. You're cheating on me with a girl named Catherine, right? A girl with the same name as me. No, oh, hold, hold on there. I was just confused. I am done with her, okay? And I won't ever see her again. Plus, I was gonna apologize to you. It's true, so please, forgive me. It isn't about forgiveness. Look, did you think I didn't notice? <laughs> I've been with you this long. Of course I noticed. Oh, the prank calls must have been from her. Wh what? I'm actually relieved to know that I'm not pregnant. To tell you the truth, I knew earlier, but I couldn't tell you. I felt like you'd leave me. Shit, 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 she's really gonna leave me. It doesn't really matter whether or not she was pregnant. And the pregnancy just triggered the start of something bigger. I need Catherine. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Just, just listen to me. I wasn't serious about her. I, I don't even think about her anymore. You are all that I need, Catherine. Just back there in the dream, you and I, we... <sighs> Snap out of it, Vincent. I came here to break up with you. No. Uh, you're joking, right? When I thought I was pregnant, I was scared the entire time. But I thought maybe you'd be happy for me. I, I was happy for you. You're lying. No, 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 I'm not. It, it, it just caught me by surprise, that's all. It's okay. Besides, I didn't come here to discuss that. Look, we can fix this. Hit me, punish me, whatever you like. I'll do anything for you, okay?
Katrina. None of that will change anything. What do you want me to do? Nothing. There's nothing left between us, so don't call me. You're serious. Can't you tell? I'm going now. Oh, that's right. I brought you an energy drink. Um, I'll leave it here. So drink it. Well, this is farewell then. So, Goodbye. Is this real? Or am I just still dreaming? Is it really over? It is. It really is over. I've been with her this long. I know when she's serious. I can't believe it. What am I supposed to do? Catherine. It's been so long, like five years. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now. But this month, I'm running really late. I think I'm pregnant. I've been getting strange texts lately. I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. Look, Vincent, you're not hiding anything from me, are you? Hey, do you think we'll work out? This isn't just because I got pregnant, right? I can trust you, right? I've been scared ever since I thought I was pregnant. I knew that it was going to freak you out. I guess this is farewell then. Goodbye. I see this weary feeling. I can't remember the last time I was alone in this city. Man, what a fucking dump. Damn it, what the hell am I supposed to do? Catherine? Uh. Catherine? Oh, uh, hi. A bug? Um, no, I'll definitely swing by probably later in the evening. Yes, sorry about that. Yeah! Oh, it's cold. Man, I can't believe this. Don't get so down, man. You'll end up dying for real. Hey, I wouldn't happen to be in the middle of a dream right now, would I? Huh? Wow, you are fucked up. I mean, who dreams about taking a shit with another guy? <sighs> hey, was she serious? <sighs> yeah. She's not answering my calls. I expected that, though. Huh. In hindsight, maybe you shouldn't have dumped that other chick, huh? About that. I broke up with her at the bar. And yet, the next day, Catherine came to my room and she was there. It was a horrific scene. Man, am I glad it was a dream. But it feels weird. I feel like it wasn't a dream. 
Dude, if it wasn't a dream, your ex-girlfriend would be all over the news. After all, you told me she stabbed the other girl, right? So, uh, what's the deal then? Cheating girl hasn't called you either? I don't know. I doubt it. What do you mean, I doubt it? You, <laughs> you haven't checked. Nothing's here. Ah, uh, no calls, huh? Ah, it's too bad. No, 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 no. It, it's all gone. What's wrong? You had a toilet paper in there? Oh, I got you. Dude, it is seriously gone. What the hell is this? Chill. I'm getting you some right now. I'm on here too. It's, it's all gone. Why? Just hold on. Damn. Not the goddamn toilet paper. Her texts. They're all gone. And fuck, her info too. Uh, her info? Not just that. Incoming calls, outgoing calls. Number two? Everything related to her, it's all gone! It disappeared? Hey, what about that one pick? Oh, that pick? I can't find it. It's missing too! The fuck, man? I never got to see it. What is going on? Maybe Catherine deleted it when she found out you cheated. When you weren't looking? She wouldn't do something like that. Well, maybe the girl you dumped did it. That's not it. I used this phone to call her yesterday. We met, we split, and, and that was that. Yesterday? Where was that? What do you mean, where? At the bar. Where else? You guys were watching. We saw it? Yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything. What the fuck are you talking about? You saw me with her! Huh? With who? After that mess with her, you guys came by and tried to cheer me up, remember? You don't remember that? Uh, yeah, I remember that part. But all I saw was you looking pathetic by yourself. By myself? Yep. But she was with me, right? I said I didn't see her. Hell, I never even saw her once. <laughs> You're joking, right? Johnny and Toby never saw her either. We've only heard about her from you, numbnuts. We thought you were doing that to prevent Catherine from finding out. <laughs> yeah. Like I'd have the brains to do that. Uh, whatever. Look, I only saw you yesterday. You were all fucked up, man. You tried talking to me, but you just sat there holding your head. No way. Look, man. I really hate to say this, but maybe you really are starting to lose it. I mean... Uh... Stop saying that. You're making me question my sanity here, man. Uh, you were sane before? I mean, you guys were just distracted, right? That's impossible. That would be like... <sighs> oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Huh? In a bar like that, it looks like hers. No one... No. That's impossible. Maybe she was a dream girl. <laughs> Hey, come on. Talk to me. I can't. This is so fucked. Hey, that was a joke, man. All traces of her are gone. Nobody's seen her. <laughs> this can't be real. Dude, you're really scaring me, man. You honestly sound crazy now. Vincent, maybe you should- Shut up! I'm not crazy! It's her fault I'm going through all this! She's got to fucking exist! This is all bullshit! I'll agree with you there, pal. I'm splitting, okay? Hey, w wait! What? The cell phone just glitched, that's all. And last night, you just weren't paying attention, right? Again with this? I didn't see anything. Don't you believe me? <sighs> Whatever, man. I, I know. Erica must have seen her. She works there. She might know something about her. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just come to the bar with me tonight. I will show you that you're wrong. It's okay, man. I'm fine with being it's wrong. It's not okay! Jeez. What's up with you, man? Hey, 
So, did you and Catherine really break up? Yes. Oh, I see. Enough about that. Back to yesterday. Try and remember. Uh, I told you already. Seriously? Yeah, you're talking about last night, aren't you? I remember everything. You came here alone. You left alone. Uh, and the entire time you were here, you drank alone. Right, Toby? That's exactly how I remember it. Maybe you're just spacing out from lack of sleep. After all, you were pretty messed up last night. Uh, yeah. You were totally fucked up, dude. So, so, so what? I, I was just dreaming the entire time I was here? I'm sick of these goddamn dreams every goddamn night. Wait, th then when did that dream start? This is so fucked up! Hey, man, keep it down. I'm only in this mess because I cheated with her. Come on, someone tell me, where the hell is she? Dude, I don't know. <sighs> My head hurts. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, like that. You were by yourself just like that. Maybe you were dreaming. You were really messed up. I'm not messed up. I'm just saying that it's impossible for her not to exist. Anyway, pills, alcohol, nothing works for that. Yeah, I keep seeing it. Whoa, you guys are still having it? Although now that you mention it, Erica looked like she was having a nightmare too. <laughs> you noticed? I don't remember anything though. You too, Erica? I thought only men had that dream. So maybe gender doesn't matter, huh? Uh, well, uh, I'm not so sure. <sighs> it's because you guys won't shut up about nightmares. The same thing with the other customers too. Is it a weird chain reaction? Hey, dreams we've been having. Don't you feel like we're all seeing the same dream? Really? I can't remember much, but you know, it felt like I was trying to get the hell away from something. Uh, like that? Just climbing up and up. Yeah, mine was like that too. Or uh, more like struggling without getting anywhere. So what, we're being shown the same dream? <laughs> Dumbass. Dreams are just a reflection of daily stress. <laughs> stress? <laughs> from what? Dude, there's plenty of stress in everyday life. Oh, yeah, but... Does that mean I'm gonna have these nightmares too, eventually? Oh, man, I hope not. It's all because this jackass started talking about it. Since I've been hanging out with him so much, he's transferred some of his stress onto me. So, Vincent, how are you gonna make it up to us, huh? Huh? Out like a light. Oh, he's messed up again. <sighs> I'm going home. My head hurts. I understand being shocked, but does it really screw someone up this bad? <sighs> we have an early shift tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. We should get going. Hey, Vincent. We're gonna take off now. You sure you're okay by yourself? Uh, I'm not crazy. The jury's still out. He's not gonna tell us he met that girl again later on, is he? Idiot. I wouldn't do that. But I did see her last night. Yeah, yeah. We've heard that from you all night long, remember? Well, thanks for the fucking help. I'm just gonna drink some more. I'll keep an eye on him, so you guys can go on home. I'm sorry, Erica. Take care of him, will you? I'll be fine. I just want to figure out what is going on. Hey, you all right? Mind if I sit here? Uh, hi, excuse me. Mind if I sit here? What? Uh, I was just thinking about it. It's only been a week since... Since when? Since I met that girl here. Can life really change this much just like that? Mm, it happens. But maybe it's the dreams. If you don't get enough sleep, your brain won't function right, and you start seeing things differently. So you're saying that you think she's an illusion too, right? No, I'm not saying that. Yes, you are. To be honest, I, I don't even know what's going on myself. Fuck. A lot happened. You're probably just a bit confused. Plus, you have been drinking a lot lately. Hey, can I get an order? Uh, sure thing.
Maybe I am going crazy. Fuck, man. <sighs> okay. That night, it was like this. I had a bad dream the night before, so I was here drinking, trying to forget. They all left early. I stayed here, then... Then she walked in. <sighs> Wait a second. That night, when she walked in the bar, there was something... Well, there's a lot of people here, but this isn't really my crowd. I'm sorry, miss. That's right. She spoke to someone else besides me. Oh, yes. May I help you? Play coy with me. I'm talking about Catherine. You saw her, didn't you? I saw her? Um, excuse me, Don't but... fuck with me, old man! I am serious! Hey! Hey, Vincent! Everyone else said that they didn't see her. And don't you think it's crazy that only you did? You're the one that's crazy. Me? See her? Because of her, I'm starting to lose it. I already know that you're the key. Damn it! Why didn't I realize it sooner? Come on, cut it out! <laughs> you saw her! I know you saw her! Speak up! Stop moaning and answer me, goddammit! Vincent! Fuck! <coughs> Just... say something. Please, man. Please. Tell me that you saw her! Well, very well. <coughs> If you must persist. Yes, I did indeed see her. Huh? She was blonde, wearing a provocative white dress, like lingerie. Yeah, 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 that's the girl. And you saw her with me yesterday, right? Yes, of course. It's your preference, isn't it? <laughs> Girls like her. So then, you admit it. All right. See? He did see her. <laughs> Jesus. Really? You are just full of surprises. Not only did you survive this long, but to think you figured me out. Huh? I must commend you for your perception. Uh, well, I didn't really perceive anything. And sorry about the choking. A lot happened, so I was a bit freaked out. <laughs> Tell me you didn't see her. There is no way she does not exist. <laughs> well, normally that is the case. Normal people can't see her after all. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Wait, what? That's only natural. After all, she isn't from this realm. Boss? It was rather unnatural, wasn't it? <laughs> a girl like her in a town like this? Huh? Either way, you don't need to worry. <laughs> I have given up on showing you nightmares. Showing me nightmares? It was quite a sight, watching you run like the wind. Uh, what are you talking about? Huh? She was here, right? Her. Catherine. Huh? Uh, wait, you didn't rush me because... I just... I just wanted proof that she really existed. I knew that you saw her. You did, right? Ah. Uh, I see. Ah. Uh. Hey. <clears throat> the usual, sir. Rum and cola, was it? Hey, boss. Can I ask you something? Uh, what would that be? You see, I thought that nightmares were something that you see on your own. So could it be... that... That... That someone else can show you one? Well, I... I, I wonder... Come on. Uh, well, I, I wonder... I wonder my ass. Pretty sure I just heard you say you're somehow involved in this. Uh, did I? You heard him, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, he did. 
So what was that all about? Huh? Uh, uh, what did I say? You were surprised I survived? What does that mean? I didn't say that. You said it. I didn't say it. Stop fucking with me! I know that you're hiding something! Tell me! I don't know. Why do I have to go through all this shit? Well, it's not just you. Excuse me, I was not expecting this turn of events. Fuck you! Every day is unexpected for me! And what is with these fucking shades? You are indoors! You're dealing with a desperate man now. Thanks to you and your bullshit, Catherine and I are through! So explain yourself, you <laughs> fucking monster! Allow me to introduce myself. I, Thomas Mutton, am- Okay, okay. Uh, to sum it up, when there are people like you, who spend a long amount of time with a partner without commitment, it impedes the population model. The rate of population growth is less than optimal. What the hell are you talking about? So, I have these hesitant gentlemen climb that. Wait, you're talking about the nightmare? Oh, you're the one behind that? Who... who the hell are you? I have been given many names by humans since ancient times. Wasting a woman's time of greatest fertility is a hindrance to the future of the species. So we separate these non-fruitful couples and redistribute the women to men who can follow the natural order, you see? Okay, so what? You're just killing men who have a partner that they don't want to marry? Is that it? Well, to put it bluntly... You think I'm gonna accept your bullshit story? Please do not worry. You won't see that young girl ever again. Huh? She is a succubus. She appears at will and seduces men under the curse by appearing as their ideal woman. If you're going to sever ties with a longtime partner, what better way than with a messy affair, right? Oh, man. Do you understand everything now? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get everything. So, in the end, what am I guilty of? Uh... <laughs> if the girl doesn't exist, then it's not cheating. <sighs> if it feels like cheating, then it's cheating, right? You think... <laughs> you think you can just get away with this? Uh, well... It isn't like I just started this job yesterday. After all, the reason you were born was because we weeded out the man who was misleading your mother. <laughs> I do believe that was the case. You better stop fucking with me. If you don't wish to believe, that's fine. However, it is a necessary evil. <sighs> Having a broken heart may be painful, but you have also earned your freedom. Plus, you have a fierce will to survive. You should be able to grasp happiness again soon enough. To me, she... she was already family. I only realized that after I was dumped. How pathetic is that? I really can't help you there. This entire situation is your fault, right? So what are you gonna do about it, huh? What? You're the one who cheated. How is that my fault? But sure as shit isn't mine! You're the cause of it all! Plus, I was ready to get married! You got your wish! Uh, but that was only due to your cheating on her, right? Besides, it's too late to make up with her now. You don't get to decide that! If you really intend to push me... Tonight, I will have to show you what I can really do. If that happens, then tonight will certainly be your last. Are you prepared to die? Prepared to die, huh? Mm. Mm.
What if you die here before I do? Vincent! Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Yo, you still alive? Yeah, we came back since we're worried about you. Yeah, let's drink some more, man. Wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. I didn't have any problem sleeping. Uh, hey, something happened? Uh, guys, Boss and Vincent are... It's okay, don't say anything. Uh, but... What's wrong? Uh, sorry, I, uh, I haven't finished my chat with him yet. You guys start the party without me. Whatever you say. Just don't go aggro, you drunk. Ah, don't worry, we're just, just playing some games here. <laughs> right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> There's no point screwing around with you. I'll let you off. For now. But in return... About what you were saying? If I am still alive tomorrow, you're gonna grant me my wish. Wait, Vincent. What are you saying? I'm telling you, it's impossible. Then you should have no problem making that promise. If you really can control the nightmares, then make this one the last. It will be the last, whether you win or lose. Not just for me, everyone else. It ends tonight. And not only that, you're going to arrange to have Catherine meet me here. That's impossible. Well, I can't do it. I can't call her, and it's not like I can just text her. <sighs> Very well. If you agree, then I honor your conditions. Really? Great. And remember, you better keep your promise. Got it? Oh, hey, Vincent. Are you sure about this? One week of this bullshit is more than enough. And sorry to make you worry back there, but I gotta end this. Not so much with this jackass, but with myself. What's with him? Acting all badass. So wait, boss, you said... <sighs> Where, boss? Escape again. I'm just fighting for me tonight. I'll end this once and for all. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. What'll it be? It's not okay. Yeah, I'm fine with just my drink. Don't do anything stupid, all right? <laughs> I'm okay. Don't sweat it. What you gain? What else is there? Victory and a future. Victory and a future. Of course, us too. Huh? Goodbye, Mr. Man of Legend. May you be blessed. I don't watch the news anymore. Even if I watch the news, they won't come up anymore. Even, Even if I watch the news, you won't ever come up. You got mail. Just now, we saw 
How are you grabbing Boss? Something happened? No, everything's fine. Sorry you had to see that. I'm not gonna stick my head into every bar brawl you get into, but if something's bothering you, let us know, okay? When we were younger, we'd always help each other as a team. Remember? Yeah. Felt like we could take on the world back then. Fun times. Uh, but Toby here wouldn't know about that, would he? Come on, why you gotta go there? We were like that once, huh? Anyway, we've already settled things. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but the sake is getting to me really quickly. Hey, don't overdo it. Let's have some good stuff tomorrow. What do you mean? No, nothing. Huh? You got me. You'd be in some deep shit. I was just screwing around. It didn't look like it to me. I was just getting worked up over a bet, that's all. If you say so, man. But if you do something to get us on the news, man, we're all gonna have to go on the land. Well, that sounds good. It'll be like when we were kids, out on adventures. So we're adults now, huh? Hey, what are you talking about, guys? Maybe when you're older, kid. Hey, that's mean. Oh, are we gonna have that damn dream again tonight? Are you all right? And you know I love you. Don't say stuff like that. Chief and Orlando aren't looking too good. Everything will be okay after tonight. Which means... Never mind. We'll all be back to normal come tomorrow. I'll bet my life on it. Uh, what are you saying? Hey, don't look at me like I've lost it. Can a guy try to sound cool sometimes? You haven't had any nightmares, have you? You mean that one in the rumors that are supposed to kill you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that gullible, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool then. Today's lead story is the mysterious weakening deaths. James Thompson, age 33, was found dead today. Was he in the nightmare too? Were we climbing together? And George Baker, age 30. Once again, the names of the deceased. Did you hear? I figured out who the witch is. Really? And who is it? It was me! <laughs> you know all that shit that went on when we were young? Seems it got mixed in with the rumors. Well, you did disappear that one time. And to think I just kept spreading the rumor, fooling people. Was there anyone who believed it? You. Well, I never believed it in the first place. Listening to you never leads to anything good. What? Anyway, about what you and Boss were talking about? Dumbass. It's all a lie. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow we can drink and enjoy ourselves. Okay. I hope so. Hey, how much of what you were talking about tonight is true? You said you'd be fighting? <laughs> you really never change, do you? True or not, I don't think I can lose to him. This is the end. For the mysteries, the rumors, for the guys, and for everyone. He needs to take responsibility. Look, just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Come back here tomorrow, okay? Have a drink. Okay. Have some faith in me. You'll see me tomorrow. Okay. I believe in you. I'll see you soon then.
The first of the great trials is a road split into three paths. Beware the mystery blocks and tackle these stairs with all your wit and skill. Then you can hear me, right? Say something! <laughs> of course I can hear you. I can see you. And your underpants. Uh. Oh! Welcome to my realm. I'll take this. It's admirable that a mere human could come this way. All right, All right I got it. Ah, I'm it used to kill you immediately. Uh. Right when I got one to bring you. Now, show me those skills right. that helped you survive this week. All right, I got it. Now, come right. down. I'll take this. Got it.
use this. I got it. Can't die here. Edge. Can't die here.
Right, I got it. Edge. Right, I got it. Edge. All right.
does this.
back. But this is just the beginning. It'd be... Oh, man. I've been waiting for it. This is heaven. You lying bastard. You said I'd be free after I beat the cathedral. Son of a bitch! My girlfriend just dumped me. I'll never accept this ending. <laughs> but you came here by your own choice.